Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met before, my name is Shiv Hi and if you're coming back then, welcome. In today's video, I'm filming this makeup look for you right here using a full face of Revolution products. I'm not going to give too much away in the intro, you'll just have to watch to see how I found everything that I have on my face. This is the look that I came up with. We've got some green going on, some burgundy, some gloss, some blush, some highlight. It's, it's all happening in this video. So if you would like to see my thoughts on some Revolution products that I haven't tried before, some that I have mostly I haven't then please carry on watching before you do please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already it means the world and let's just carry on with the video bye okay to start off with I am going to do my brows so I'm going to use the define and fill brow pencil this is in the shade dark brown and I am very excited to put some makeup on my face it's been a very slow intro to filming the video it is now half six in the evening and I wanted to start filming at like one but you know that's fine so yeah let's just go ahead and do our brows I'm gonna try and do this video without chatting too much I know my videos have been quite long recently so I'm just gonna try to just focus on the actual products oh my goodness okay so I've just taken this out of the packaging and it is weighty why is it heavy this is so weird i like it kind of feels like a magic wand so yeah this is the dark brown brow pencil it's actually can't get over how heavy this is this is so weird okay so oh hang on i've just put hand cream on bear with me i can't open it oh okay so you get spoolie on one side i'm just gonna brush up my brow hairs and then on the other side should be the pencil which is a twist up pencil i can see the wax is kind of coated before you kind of warm it up which is fairly normal let's just see the color it looks like quite a good color looks nice and like buildable and create like nice like hair like strokes if you can see that but yeah let's go ahead and see what this is like i used to be such like a brow pomade kind of gal and nowadays i'm definitely more of a brow pencil kind of gal so let's just go ahead and fill in my brows i've got an eyebrow hair on my eyelid lovely I always start off by going underneath the brow. Okay, first off, this is a good colour. This is a good colour, which makes me very happy because I find judging eyebrow pencils based on the colour obviously so much easier than when it actually matches your brow hairs. So far, really good. It's really easy to move, but it's not too waxy, which I like. But you don't have to go like really hard on your skin. I will like kind of shape this a little bit more with concealer in a moment. Then I'm just going to follow the top part of the brow. This is the most sparse part of my brow, which is like the top kind of arch section. So I always have to accentuate that part. Hmm, this is a really nice brow pencil actually. Then what I'm doing is just slowly filling in that sparse area with like brush like strokes. But I do prefer quite a, like a filled in brow. Then I'm just going to brush through the brows to make sure the product is nice and distributed evenly. A little bit smudgy here, but that's fine because I'm going to fix it with concealer anyway. Then for the front, I'll just brush it upwards. I really like this brow pencil. I'm going to do the other brow and I'll be right back. That's my brows done. Loving the brow pencil. Next on to concealer to carve out the brows and just prime the lids. I'm going to take something that I've used before. This is the Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C4. I already know I love this concealer, so I'm going to skip quickly past this. I'm just going to pop it on the lids and then smooth it across with one of these angled lip brushes just to carve out the brows just underneath that line and then smooth it out as much as I can. And this is a great base for eyeshadows because it sets and I love this concealer. I haven't tried the Conceal and Hydrate one, but I feel like this would be one that I'd opt for more anyway. Brows done, base done, now onto the shadows. I have the Revolution, of course, the Precious Stone Emerald Palette, which looks gorgeous. This is the shade, these are the shades that you get inside the palette. Some really beautiful, like, jewel tones. And I also like how they've kind of incorporated, like, this beautiful cranberry shade and, like, a dark kind of purple shade rather than just greens, because I feel like there's only so many types of shades of greens you can get if that makes any sense so i like how they've incorporated it into that see i like how they've done that and there's also a few like neutral shades as well how can i show you it without blinding you there you go this shade here called primitive it looks gorgeous so i'm definitely gonna use that as my inner corner highlights i feel like i want to go with a really dark 
blue kind of vibe so I'm going to use Bohemia as my main colour maybe this indigo shade I don't know we're just going to see what happens but this palette is really gorgeous I can't remember how much it retails for I believe it's £10 it is a pressed pigment palette oh okay no so shades 2, 5, 16, 17 and 18 of pressed pigments so that is this one which is called Paradise which is right here shade 5 which is Sorel right here which is the grey which I probably won't be using as I'm just not a grey eyeshadow wearer and then we also have 16, 17, 18 so these three in the middle Ooh. so we have Firework which is like a cool tone brown that I probably will use Luna which is a dark purpley kind of shade and then Gem which is like this kind of I don't know how to describe it it's like a burgundy brown it's really unique actually that would look really nice with this colour right here so that is cool the packaging is really nice I do like Revolution's packaging I think it's nice and simple with this it looks really nice but it doesn't feel the nicest you can like feel the glitter on it it doesn't come off on your hands which is good because obviously if you were to put it in your makeup bag and the glitter came off it would get all over everything so that is really good that the glitter doesn't actually come off it it's just I wish they kind of like covered this with like a film or something so you don't like feel the texture that's just my personal preference though so what are we going to do with this palette I'm going to start off by taking this shade right here which is called chromatic and I'm just going to pop that into the crease of my eye I'm going to do one eye at a time just to make things a little bit easier and I'm going to take that on a LA Girl 202 blending brush is just a big fluffy brush i'm going to take this as my first transitional shade right here i love revolution eyeshadows although some of them can be a little bit hit and miss this palette does look really beautiful and i don't think i have something similar to this palette so i'm just going to okay so i'm just going to start by working this through the crease i haven't set the concealer because it kind of sets itself just as long as you don't put on it too much product so i'm just going to start by lightly working this into the upper crease that's kind of the lightest transition shade that we have in the palette so we'll just see what we can do the palette has a bit of a weird smell not too sure what that is but i feel like you know sometimes when you get like new makeup or something it has a smell and it goes away or like a new product i feel like it's kind of like that so that is fine i'm just kind of pushing this into the crease so we have that wet concealer i don't want it to like skip and go patchy so I'm slowly start blending this through the crease Okay, so I'm just softly working my brush back and forth and a little wiggling motions just to really smooth out the shadow, especially because I don't have a lighter transition. I'm kind of working with what I've got here. I'm really trying to blend that as much as I can. This is going on quite nicely. Um, it's just kind of like a brown eyeshadow, but it's not like skipping or like clinging to any dry patches or anything like that, which is so good. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more. So that went on pretty nicely. The next shade that I am going to go in with is... Oh goodness, I cannot decide. I am going to take the shade Paradise, which is the second one along. And that also is one of the pressed pigments. It's this one right here, if you can see that. That one there, it's like kind of like a mauve colour? Is it mauve? I don't know. I will try and find out what the Revolution site says this colour is, but I'm going to pop that through the crease just to further intensify it. This is a Primal 220 blending brush. This one here, and I'm going to see how that goes. I'm just going to use this to intensify the crease. This one had a little bit more kickback than the other shade, but I think that's just because it is a pressed pigment and not a pressed shadow, so it will kind of be a little bit softer almost, and kickback for me is just something that comes with the pressed pigment. So I'm adding that to the crease. Just to add some dimension to whatever this look turns out to be. It's going on nicely. I'm blending in nicely with the other shadow as well. Nice and smooth, not patchy or anything. I'm just going to quickly tap back into the chromatic shade and just again go over the top of that just to attempt to blend this out. I'm just going back in with a little bit more of that paradise shade just to further intensify it. Okay, now I'm going to go in with that gem shade, which is like the burgundy brown purpley kind of colour. And I'm going to take it on, oh, great description. I'm going to take it on a Primark 230 blending brush. Is this one the pressed pigments? This is also a pressed pigment, and I'm just going to try and focus it kind of on the outer two thirds of the crease in the outer corner, just to again intensify things and also just try and use as much of the shadows as I can. This one's going on really nicely and really intense actually as you can see like from my very purple looking eye. I'm going to go back in with the shade Paradise 
and just layer that up above. Okay, this is starting to look really nice actually, like really nice and smoky, but I have no idea what I'm putting on the lid. This shadow makes my eyes look so green though, which I'm always a big fan of, always blending that out. Then, because why not, I'm gonna take the shade Kyoto, Kyoto, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's the really dark brown shade right here. And I'm gonna pop that right, right, right in the outer corner with this Morphe M506 blending brush. Just because I wanted to use as much of the shadows. Do you know what I really like about this look? It's like all of the dimension of the shade. So if you're finding that your looks are feeling like, you know, a little bit basic or something, just literally layer up different kind of tones of the same kind of shade. It just makes such a difference to how the like final result looks. Now I feel like it's time to cut the crease. So I'm gonna go back in with a conceal and define concealer to do this. I used to use this concealer all the time for cutting the crease and it is so good for doing that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to the same brush that I used to carve out the brows. I'm just gonna load up the concealer on the brush. And then I'm just going to cut the crease just by. So I'm just cutting the crease, pulling it through my socket, and then just kind of tapping over concealer to smooth it out as much as possible. Once the crease is cut, I'm actually gonna take these three shades across the cut crease. I think that'll look really cool. So I'm gonna take Primitive on the inner corner, Indigo in the middle, and Bohemia on like this kind of outer section, like as a gradient. I think that'll look really interesting with the kind of like warm, smoky crease. So I'm gonna take the shade Primitive to start off with. This is in MAC 242. I'm just going to go into the shadow and try and really pick it up. It's one of those like really beautiful like shimmery shades where you just have to really work it into your brush or there's usually better applied with your fingers but I have a super long nails so brush is the way forward. So I'm just going to start by popping this. Oh okay that is yeah. nice but it's getting everywhere. I can't like get the shadow like on the tip of my brush it's very annoying. I like stamp it maybe? It's one of these shadows you can like move around in the pan, a bit similar to the like shadow topper kind of shades in the Morphe palettes. I feel like I need a different brush for this, two seconds. Okay, I've just switched to a lip brush. Hopefully I can really get that on the inner corner of this. Just don't want to smudge the cut crease. I feel like this shade here, Primitive, would just be better as like an inner corner highlight kind of shade because on the lid it's just a bit of a struggle to apply. Unless you have the patience to mess around with your fingers, I feel like this shade would just be better as an inner corner highlight. Um, I kind of regret putting it on the inner corner, now my cut crease is a bit like messy, but I will try and fix that later. Next shade. Next shade I'm going to go into is the shimmery green teal kind of colour called Indigo. And I'm going to try and pop that, oh okay, we've got a decent amount of product on the brush, which is a good sign. I'm going to pop that on at the middle of the lid. That is pretty. The next shade that I'm going to go into is the dark kind of shimmery blue shade here, which is called Bohemia. It's actually a really unique kind of colour. I really like it. So I'm going to take that on the same brush, just kind of flip the brush around and pop it on this section of the lid, so the outer kind of section. That is really nice. It looks like a very weird, like different eye look. I don't think I've ever really done something like this before. Um, I'm just gonna quickly take the brush with the dark Kyoto, Kyoto dark brown shade on and just kind of dab over the outer corner just to kind of like blend it in a little bit. Next up, I'm gonna take this liner, which is the Revolution Pro. This is the Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner in the shade Brown, which looks really nice. It looks like it has a bit of sheen to it. But I'm actually gonna pop that in the waterline. Just to add a smoke, I haven't tried these pencils before. Goes on quite nicely, although I don't feel like it's the most intense liner. That is fine, we can try and just build it up. I feel like it's a lot more like flattering than just like a black liner, which can be really harsh. Next, another product that I've already used before. This is the Revolution Renaissance Flick Liner, the best eyeliner 
ever. It's five pounds and it is incredible. I forget how to get it out of the packaging. It's like a fountain pen kind of design. So it comes in like this box and this is so good. I'm gonna pop on a nice kind of wing with this look. So I already really like this liner. Just give it a little shake. It's a felt tip and you can just get a really, really easy winged liner. So I'm just gonna start by kind of lining across my lash line. Then once we get to the outer corner, I'm just going to put it up towards the brow. And then just put it back in and then fill in that triangle to create my wing. Lovely, that's just honestly the best liner ever. I've used it before, but yeah, you need it. Just check it out, it's amazing and it's gorgeous. Hello, it's like a little fountain pen. I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes. And then we have a new mascara to try. This is the Blowout High Volume Mascara with Cannabis Sativa Mascara. So this should be interesting. I don't really know the benefits of putting Cannabis Sativa in a mascara. Also this packaging, by the way, picks up all of your fingerprints. I don't know like if it's heat sensitive or what, but like, I don't know if you can see all these little marks over it as my fingerprints. It's really strange, but I feel like that's part of the design. When you wipe it, it kind of stays on there. It's very strange. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. The brush itself is a plastic bristle brush with like long thin brussels brussels <laughs> bristles running through it so let's apply this and see how it goes I'll be honest, with this mascara, I don't really feel like it's doing much. It's all right, like it's it's okay. I don't really feel like it's doing an intense amount of drama to my lashes or anything like that. If anything, it's quite good at separating them, but it's not like an amazing wow mascara. That's just my personal opinion, I'm really sorry. It's okay, it does the job, but not like massively blown away by that. Okay, I'm gonna highlight my brow bone now and I'm gonna take the shade, yeah, I'm gonna take the shade Primitive again, which is the one we've got right on this inner corner and then apply a light amount to that kind of like arch area of my brow. This is a Beach Cosmetics number no. seven brush. I probably should use a smaller brush, but I can't be bothered to get up and get another one. Just adding, trying to add a light amount of that just to the brow bone. And then I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush just to try and like blend this out a little bit. I'm also gonna pop that on my inner corner. See what I mean, it makes a really nice inner corner highlight, but I feel like it's just a bit of a path to get it on the lid. I'm just gonna run that shade also just under the lower lash line, just at the start. And then with the green in the middle of the lower lash line, just to kind of like mirror the lid. Then I'm just going to flip my brush around and take the blue Bohemia shade and I'm just going to put that on the outer corner of the lower lash line meeting up with the wing. Oh my god, I've just realised what this palette smells like. This palette smells like Germany, okay? Or Savlon, I think they're the only two kind of creams, you know, the antiseptic creams. That's what this smells like. I don't know if it's just a smell like from the warehouse, but... That's what it smells like to me. It's not like bothering me, but just when I opened it, I definitely did smell a smell. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I will be right back to do the face. Okay, so we are back, other eye is done. And I actually really like this eye look. I feel like it makes my eyes pop and it's very different with like the warm and the like greens on the lid. So yeah, a really big fan of that. The palette actually performed really nicely. I just had a little bit of difficulty with the shade that I've popped on the inner corner here, but I feel like that is more of like a inner corner highlight shade rather than a lid shade or like an eyeshadow topper. And I think it would apply a lot better with your fingers. Mascara wise, not that fussed though. Just gonna say i'll probably pop some lashes on at the end of this video but now let's move on to the face so i'm gonna skip primer just because this makeup isn't gonna be on my face for very long but i am just gonna put on the primer primer water just because i like the way it feels and i use it in every single video Okay, so for foundation, I actually have three foundation shades to choose from. I feel like they sent me just a few just because obviously it's kind of difficult to pick your shade online. So I have the, I chose the matte base foundation. This is the matte base, pure, 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 pore blurring, full coverage foundation. I have the shades F5, F6 and F7. Judging by just the look of the colour on the packaging, I feel like because I am very pale right now, I haven't baked down in ages, it's now winter. I feel like I'll be shade F6.5, which looks like the pale 
playlist but I might just do a quick kind of like little look at f6.5 let's just have a little look shall we oh that's really cool cool little detail on the lid it has the embellished like embellished embossed R on the lid that's a nice little detail comes with a little film cover just so you can tell no one else has used it okay I'm just gonna swatch a little bit on my cheek Okay, actually that could be a little bit too pale, you know. I don't know. Okay, so that's F6.5. Then I'm gonna swatch F5. I'm gonna put that right here and we're just gonna see which is the best color to use. I've used a Revolution foundation before. I did a first impressions on it. It was the Conceal and Define foundation and I really, really didn't like it. Didn't, didn't work on my skin. However, for some reason I love the concealer. So I'm really hoping that I'm gonna like this foundation. Okay, so this is F5. Oh no, I didn't break the seal properly. This is F5. Five. So weird. Look, that's F6.5, which is so much lighter than this is F5. Some foundation shades, I feel like, really just boggle my mind because you look at, like, the numbers and you would think that, like, the higher the number, the darker the shade, but it's really not the case. Let's go in with F7 just to see. Okay, this is F7. Hmm, surprisingly, I think I like that one the most. I just feel like it's the most, like, neutral shade. I feel like the F5 is very pale. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of wipe that. So <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe that away, but we are going to go in with a foundation. I'm gonna put it on normally just using my Spicy Choco sponge, Beauty Blender, Beauty Sponge, whatever you wanna use. I'm gonna go in with the shade F7. Okay, so I'm gonna take some onto my sponge. The seal hasn't like broken properly, so it's kind of hard to squeeze out. I know Revolution like dupe a bunch of products, so if anyone knows what this is supposed to be a dupe of, let me know. Okay, I'm just gonna start by pouncing this all over the skin. Okay, I feel like after blending this out, this is actually a really nice colour for me and a nice finish. I wouldn't put it down to like full coverage, but I would say it's like a good medium. But yeah, I really like the finish of this actually. It's matte, but it doesn't feel dry. Like the foundation, nice. Okay, we don't have like a cream contour or anything to try, but I am going to move on to concealer. Again, the Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C4. I'm going to pop that on my chin, forehead, under the eyes, the usual. And I already know that I like this, but if it works well with the other foundations, is a different kind of gamble. Then I'm going to go and blend it out with a spicy choco sponge. Okay, I like that they go well together. I would definitely use this base on like my everyday kind of makeup routine. Yeah, I really like the foundation and the concealer together. They go nicely. Definitely if you're like a matte finish kind of person, you will like this. And it's not settling into like my forehead lines, which is always good. <laughs> right, moving on. Next we have a powder foundation. This is in the shade F5. I have tried a face powder from Revolution before and I actually really liked it. It was in the shade F4. It was, I think it was the three pounds or I don't know what it's called, but this is a powder foundation. So I feel like we're just gonna go with all the coverage. Oh no, I have foundation from my fingers all over it. Hang on. Oh no. Look, I made it dirty, but I like the packaging. Obviously, I feel like they're trying to imitate the MAC kind of powder vibes. This is what it looks like. And they put pro in like the kind of foiled font, which is quite cool. Oh my god, I have foundation everywhere. Okay, so it comes with a little sponge inside. We all know that no one really uses these. I, to be fair, actually, now I said that. I just see someone on the train like fairly recently using one of these. But I'm going to keep it in there anyway, just because why not? And if I'm on the go, obviously, maybe then you can touch up with it. But it's not something that I would use on an everyday basis. It's just quite unhygienic. But that is fine so we're not going to use that but this is what it looks like just a powder but I am going to pop it on with a powder brush this is from Spectrum Collections I'm just going to start by packing this into the skin and see if it adds like any extra coverage okay it's quite a lot of fallout and a lot of pigment on my brush so I feel like Jesus oh my god it just it just broke like this bit here just fell out all over the floor and onto my leggings. Okay, definitely go in with a light hand with this product. I don't feel like it's very like hardly pressed into the pan. I feel like they've pressed it very softly, so that off. Oh no, it looks very pink on my hand. The powder keeps like literally breaking everywhere. I will show you, but my carpet is just really ugly. This powder is gonna break so quickly. Like this, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like indents and like cracks and I'll show you in the video now because I'm recording an Instagram video as we're talking but yeah like this is really like softly pressed okay 
Oh my god, it is so pink. What shade is this? F5. We'll buff it in a little bit. No, I can't use this powder. I'm really sorry. Oh no, I'm really disappointed in that. I think that's just the shade, but also the powder is like really softly pressed, so it's just breaking. Like you can't really take that on the go if it's just gonna break. Okay, I'm gonna quickly just grab another powder. Everything is starting to become a little bit of a mess. I have foundation all over my top. I feel like it will come off. Powder all over my leggings, but I have just set my face with my Primark powder. I would have just continued to use the powder, but on just literally on first application, I could just tell it was like way too pink. Like my face is even even. I don't think you can tell on camera, but it is definitely like way. But we are going to bronze now and just pretend that didn't happen. So this is the Revolution Mega Bronzer in the shade Warm, which looks like this. I have. I've actually really, really wanted to try this bronze. I have seen it on a few like Instagram videos and stuff and it does look really good. I, I did actually remember someone telling me in person that they really like it. So we're gonna give this a little go. It's absolutely massive. You get 15 grams of product and yeah, it's massive. So we're gonna use this to bronze up my face. I'm gonna use a Fancy Co powder brush to do that. Okay, well, there's a lot of fallout and a lot of product on my brush. And I went in very lightly, tapping off the excess common theme I've kind of noticed with the products that I'm trying out is that they are very pigmented which is obviously a good thing but you do just need to be very light handed with a lot of the um, like face products I feel yeah so now we're gonna bronze the face starting right at the back of my like cheek bringing it forward I'm just trying to blend it because this is super pigmented Okay, my camera died, but I just did the rest of my bronzer. It looks fairly nice, you know. Nice bronzer, I would use it again. I just feel like I just have to go in with very, very, very lightly because it is very pigmented. Next, we're gonna move on to blush, which I'm very excited about because I actually really wanted to try out this blush for a while. This is the Blusher Reloaded in the shade Rhubarb and Custard. The only thing I will say is an initial, like, touching from the packaging is I feel like they wasted a lot of plastic um because if you look the blush is slightly raised but not very it's kind of got that wavy effect but there is so much room between where like the top part of the blush is and then the top of the lid and i just feel like there's such a waste of plastic they could have just cut that like in half easy and i'm sure they've made like a few thousand of these at least like more than that but minimum so yeah i just feel like they could have just made that a little bit smaller and obviously it would make it more compact but that's just my little thoughts on that this is a nice like pinky shade called rhubarb and custard everything has a little seal on it bear with me okay this is what it looks like it's really pretty and like wavy looking i feel like this would be a really nice blush i'm going to pop it on with this slow Ella cosmetics brush so i'm just going in lightly on the pan tapping off the excess and i'm just going to pop this on my cheeks on the apples and kind of like working it around the back of the temples i really like that it's nice and like soft but definitely like adds a little something to your face i feel like blush is just such an underrated makeup product and i feel like more people like discovering how good it makes your face look <laughs> put way too much on this side so i'm just going to kind of like pack over both of the sides to kind of like blend it in a little bit more I really like that blush. It's pretty. That's something I'll reach for every day. Okay, next up. I am going to set the face and I'm going to go in with my CBD Nourishing Essence Spray. I'm going to use this to set my makeup. I love using skincare sprays to set my makeup. I just feel like it adds the extra like oomph to your face. So I'm going to use that all over my face to set it into place. Fan that dry. Now is the time for highlight and I'm going to be using one that I'm actually very excited to try. This is from the I Heart Revolution range or it might be Makeup Obsession. I think it's I Heart Revolution. I'll have everything linked in the description box below so definitely go and check that out and like have a little look on the Revolution website. They have some really good bits on there. This is the Shimmering Highlighting Powder Banana. They have like, I think it's an apple one or a cherry one or something like that and it's really cute. This kind of brand of the Revolution brand do like really fun like quirky packaging. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up 
Okay, so this looks really sparkly and I'm actually very excited to apply this. I am going to wet my brush beforehand because I feel like it's really going to intensify that pigment. I'm just going to use a bit of the primer water or you could use a skincare spray, but I just don't like to waste the skincare spray for this kind of thing. I'm just going to go into the highlighter. I'm kind of scared to ruin the really like pretty banana, but we're going to... Because this shade here looks like it would be a really nice highlight for me, but then the gold looks really pretty. I don't know whether to mix them. Okay, I'm going to mix them. Okay, so we've kind of just got like a bit of everything. This looks very glittery. I don't actually mind a glittery highlighter. Highlight. I know some people are very against it, but I don't mind. I'm just gonna pop. <gasps> oh, yes. Revolution are bomb highlights, just to let you know. Like, their highlighters are so good. Gleaming, shining, shining, shining. Take the like kind of like around the temple just a little bit so it kind of blends in. A bit above the brow. Oh, this is a really nice highlight. Yes. Damn. That is an intense highlight, and I am into it. Now for the lips forgot to get a lip liner brb i'm just gonna pop on a lip liner this is max spiced lip liner because we will be applying a nude For lipstick, we have the Revolution Pro New Neutral Satin Matte Lipstick in the shade Stripped, which is their really nice kind of brownie nude, I'd say, from the matte lipsticks range. I've tried a red one from this, and I really like the formula, so we're going to pop that on, and I'll let you know how it feels. I'm sure it will feel like a really nice matte lipstick, but I'll let you know. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on. Okay, it's a lot more pink, but I love a pink nude, so perfect. That's a nice colour. For some reason it's washing me out a little bit, but I can go over it. Next, moving on, something that I'm really excited to try. Obviously, Revolution has so many launches going on all the time, it's kind of hard to keep up. But one of their launches recently that I was like, that looks so nice, are the Pout Bombs, which I feel like are supposed to be a dupe of the Fenty Beauty, I think they're called Gloss Bombs. I haven't tried those, but they do look very similar. So let me know if you've tried the Fenty Beauty ones and if these are any similar at all. It's a plumping lip gloss with vitamin E. I got the shade K and I feel like this will match the lipstick really nicely. Oh, lipstick, by the way, feels nice and creamy, but still kind of has a matte look. Thumbs up from me. Okay, let's try this. Ooh. I can smell a, like, toothpaste minty kind of smell straight away. Looks like I'm brushing my teeth, it's really nice. Yeah, I really like this. I can feel the tingling like straight away and like the minty kind of feeling. This is really nice, really like this lip gloss. I like the fact that it's quite like small and fat. I don't know why, that just kind of really satisfies me. <laughs> that sounds really weird. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna pop some mascara on my lower lashes and then we'll be back to talk about how I found everything. I completely forgot I missed a product to try. This is the Brow Volume and Sculpt Gel. This is in the shade Clear. It's just a brow gel. Um, I've never tried a brow gel from Revolution. So let's, oh God, let's give this a go. They do come in other colors, but I couldn't really work out what color would suit me. So I went for the clear. Looks like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this through my brows. It has a tiny little one like the Benefit Give Me Brow. I'm just gonna kind of like brush upwards feels pretty nice i mean i don't know if it's like giving them volume or anything but done a good job of kind of putting them where i want them you know okay so we are all done with this makeup look with a full face of revolution makeup products i tried out some revolution pro products some i love revolution and then just their normal range and this is what i came up with i actually really like the way this makeup look turned out i didn't actually really know where it was going to start off with but i like the kind of contrast of the colors with the warm through the crease and like the greens on the lid the gloss is still like feeling that like minty feeling and i really like it key for favorite product here so my hair is like floofed I'm trying to like do like big bouncy curls and it's just kind of getting a bit everywhere so the products that I am literally obsessed with are the pout 
bomb the brow pencil which is definitely like weighted i'm just it's from revolution pro this one but it's it's so heavy i can't get over it so brow pencil is definitely a win the lip gloss is amazing i really like the concealer but i have used that before the blush is really nice the palette was really nice but i do like revolution shadows so that wasn't like a massive surprise for me highlighter beautiful really like this if you're not into like incredibly shimmery highlights you won't like this but if you are you will love this what else the bronzer although you <laughs> have a bit of an eyelash stuff on it the bronzer although you do have to be really light-handed is actually really nice and um, just definitely be very light-handed with it okay and then for the other products foundation i really liked i'm going to probably be using the shade f7 i could definitely go up a few shades if i was like had fake tan on and i actually thought f7 would be too dark for me just judging by the website but this is actually quite light because it matches me and i am quite pale so yeah i could probably maybe go i don't know like in my head like how the shades work but i feel like i go maybe like one or two shades up for when i'm tan but I do really like the foundation and it has worn it really nicely throughout the rest of the makeup application. It hasn't gone cakey or like set it into my fine lines or anything like that, which is really good because I do have some full coverage foundations. I am a full coverage kind of girl, but they just kind of settle into like my fine lines. I know I'm only 24, but I definitely do have them on my forehead. I think it's just like an expressional thing and also my forehead kind of dips in a little bit. So that is that. The only thing I would say just I'm not a massive fan of is the powder foundation, which is a big shame because I actually was quite... <gasps> Yeah, the look broken. It is so softly like put together. They needed to press harder into the pan. The shade's too pink. I don't feel like anyone would wear a foundation that pink of tone. I don't know, maybe. But I couldn't picture it in my head. But yeah, that pan foundation has already broken, so thumbs down from me. Brow gel was alright. I probably will use it again, but it wasn't like revolutionary. And same with the mascara. I will use this again like in future videos and stuff, but it isn't anything like amazing so that's my final thoughts on everything i do absolutely love revolutions products and i feel like they do actually put a lot of work into their brand and they have so many launches coming out like pretty much like every few weeks which is absolutely crazy because as we've seen from like obviously jeffree star's documentary i don't know how it's different in like other labs i don't work in that kind of industry behind the scenes so i don't know but we know how long it takes to like make products so i just find that amazing but yeah lip gloss probably is my favorite product i think the lip gloss and the blush i think are my favorite i think they're like the same color cute but yeah this is the makeup look i came up with i have done another full face of revolution which was like an almost i didn't have everything but i will link that down below if you want to watch another one of these with slightly different products and i have done actually a bunch of revolution themed videos here on my channel which you guys seem to really like so i'll link them down below if you haven't seen those or you are new to my channel definitely go ahead and check those out if you did enjoy this video please give a big thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section down below let me know kind of what products you try for revolution which ones you like which ones you don't like that kind of thing just have a little chat don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already it means the absolute world and i shall see you in my next video thanks so much for watching bye revolution oh these this these right. okay so i'm gonna now i feel like it's time we're recording here i am 